welcome to the 2022 Christmas special of Real Talk. My name is Rachel Lamb. And I'm Lewis Urquhart. Starting this episode of Real Talk, we had our VT host Molly walk around the college asking students what their Christmas traditions are and talking about different opinions about Christmas time. We will then take a look at our students from the Barnfield campus attempting to rap, challenging shaped objects. Our guest on the sofa tonight is Tyler Osborne from Decorum Borough Council. He works in mental health support and will be discussing how young men should be more aware of their mental health and how to stay healthy. Quick talk for this episode, we're sharing four important news stories for young people. And to end the show, we will be watching a band from Level 3 Music called Battle Axe. It's, it's Real, Real Talk. talk. The first term at West Hearts College is almost over and students are getting excited and ready for Christmas. And to find out about students' Christmas plans, we got a brand new TV host Molly to go around the grounds of West Hearts College to ask students about what they're doing for Christmas. Hi, my name is Molly and today we're going to be going around at the college and asking people about Christmas. Great. Hi, could you just quickly tell me what your name is and what course you're doing? My name's Craig, I'm on the Level 3 acting course. Uh, my name's Sophie and I do Level 3 performing arts. Uh, Christina Jones, Catering Food Academy. My name is uh, Harry Hewitt, I do film and TV, second year. My name is Jabain and I'm doing Level 3 dance. Should have done musical theatre. What are <laughs> your favourite Christmas traditions? <laughs> um, I guess giving gifts. Um, we celebrate in a whole family. Um, I can't think of any special ones, just normal things like putting up trees, turkey. No one knows when it's the correct time to put up Christmas decorations. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this? Straight after Halloween. Can't lie. It's not like the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree can go up at like the start of December, but it's officially Christmas once Halloween's over. I don't like Halloween. You're wrong. The 13th of December. The 13th? That, that, like, that, that has just been a staple uh, like, like all through my life. The 13th is when my mum starts getting the decorations yeah. out. The last weekend of November. I don't know, that's a bit of a weird one because some people put it up as soon as like November hits and I'm like, that's a little bit too early. But on the 1st of December, that's exactly when we start to put up our Christmas decorations, our Christmas trees, we start to get the presents underneath the um, tree and everything. If you had to pick one place to go for Christmas, where would it be and why? Ooh. Probably the Lake District. America. America? Yeah, that's my dream. Norway. Um, I just find it's a really nice place, honestly, and just like to see the uh, Aurora Boris as well. If there could be anywhere that you could go for Christmas, where would it be and why? Mm, I'd probably say somewhere in New York. Christmas, we eat a lot. We yes. eat a lot of Christmas. Yes. You got a favourite food? A snack? Yorkshire puddings. Uh, probably pigs and blankets. Ro like roast dinner. Banged it, mate. Chestnut stuffing. Okay. 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 Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding. Best and worst Christmas present that you've ever received? Oh, uh, I think I got my AirPods because I never, they never leave my ears. The worst one. I don't think I've ever gotten the worst one. Someone got me the same thing twice. So what they bought me the year previous, they got me that the same year. Yeah, everyone has so much to say about Christmas. So many different opinions, so many different like traditions and whatnot. But anyway, back to the studio. Well, that was a nice to Molly. How did you find doing it? I actually quite enjoyed it. I quite like going around the college and asking random people that I've never met before questions. Oh, pretty good VT host yeah. then. That would be the sole nice purpose of, of the job. <laughs> How did you find talking about Christmas? Well, I think we've established I'm not really a Christmas person. Which is disappointing, but each their own. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> Why are you not a Christmas person? Like, what, what ruined Christmas for you? Was nothing, it finding out Santa wasn't real? or like what? Nothing ruined Christmas. It's just I prefer Halloween. Yeah, but Why? can you not love them both equally? Like, uh, England doesn't really celebrate uh, Halloween that often. Yeah, so. we're not. Yeah, That's why it needs to be celebrated. It needs to be a thing. It needs to, be, it needs to happen. 
Okay, so do you buy Halloween presents? Do your parents pop all your presents under the pumpkin or like under the <laughs> pumpkin? Um, it'd be a pretty big pumpkin, but <laughs> I'd like that. Have you brought anyone presents this year? No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a knitter. I knit and I crochet, like crochet people's presents because um, I have God, no money. God, you're so edgy. Tell us a bit oh, more. Oh, thank you. Sorry? Tell us a bit more. A bit more about crocheting yeah, and what's knitting. What's the weirdest thing you've knitted? Swimming trunks? No! <laughs> crochet <laughs> swimming trunks. Do you wear no. your own creations? Or yes, like... I do. Uh, did you knit this yourself? It's very finely no, done. No, I didn't. It was going so quick. Is there another question? What's your plans for New Year's? My plans for New Year's? Yeah, you know, it's coming up. Do some big, knitting. Big 2022. Yeah, do some knitting. Do some, finish rewatching Game of Thrones. I think I can guess your New Year's resolution. Which is? More knitting. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing your VT, Molly. We really enjoyed it and finding out more about your not so Christmas traditions. And we'll see you on the next episode. Hi, and welcome back to Barnfield. We're getting in the Christmas spirit with our 60 second Christmas wrap challenge. So let's meet our contestants. We have Joy and we have Georgia, Kanane and Amelia. We have Holly and Vivian. The rules of the game is that we have to blindfold our contestants and we have to give them a rather obscure object to wrap and they have 60 seconds to wrap it in the best possible way and also add bows and ribbons and whoever has the neatest present wins. Three, two, one, go! Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, it's not good. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Oh, that's so easy. Is it easy though? Yeah. Christmas morning, and I saw that. I would say that was a football. So very good job. Thank Unfortunately, so um, there is no bow. No bow. No bow. No, no. no. <laughs> That's cheating. It's not, it's not cheating. Cheating is wrong. Over here we have um tape. Yes. Yeah. There's a bit you've got to cut off. Oh, I'm never gonna notice that. I am noticing it. Oh, That's no, why I pointed it out. This is the. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> Merry great. Christmas. It is a guitar. It, it with some paper on it. <laughs> okay, but I, I managed to stick this. It's it's not doesn't cover the guitar, but <laughs> does that count? No. Okay. Overall, I think the winner is Kanane with that wonderful football wrapping technique. So, Kanane, we've gone all out for our prize this year. Yes. So I want to say, oh, 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 wow. congratulations, you are Christmas king. And that's all from us at Barnfield. So, from everyone at Barnfield. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the new year. <laughs>guest on the real talk sofa is tyler osborne who is a healthy hub officer for decorum borough council he is going to be sharing with us information and guidance on how young men should be more aware of their health and also conscious of ways to stay healthy so tyler why is it so important that we talk about men's mental health um i, I think it's uh, you've got a situation now where it's typically females and, and women of your age uh, tend to have more support groups than men and they're more open to having those conversations that perhaps men aren't um, emotionally capable of doing yeah. because you've got a situation now where generations of, of a stigma uh, for men, uh, mental health and being being told to sort of man up and 
you've got to uh, put away your emotional side and focus on your goal or your job. So you've got this situation now where uh, that's being broken down with figures such as Prince William, the England football team, they're right on it in terms of their mental health approach and it's becoming more now, more common around the pubs and, and, and around the classrooms and stuff like that, that your, your uh, conversations with friends and family as well, that it's all becoming more um, uh, easier for men to speak about yeah. their emotional side. As it should have been from the beginning. Yes. <laughs> so uh, what are some of like, the common risks that men will face if they don't look after their mental health? Uh, mental health, you've got situations where if you don't go, uh, if you don't find support early enough, you can, depending, with mental health, there, there is also always a trigger or a trauma that affects mental health and you can feel like you're getting through that, that trigger and then something else will come along and it will take you back to that starting block of, of feeling uh, anxious or depressed or you've got a range of mental health issues that uh, can affect you. Um, typically men, like I said, they don't typically speak about these things and that festers into a situation where uh, you get diagnosed with anxiety and then later it usually is anxiety and then depression and then uh, it can lead to suicide unfortunately. Do you think there's things that like maybe young men, old men, any men should be adding into their daily routine to check in on their mental health? Is there any like mindfulness, anything like yes, that? Yes, there's should loads be of good stuff uh, depending on, on your capabilities. So you, obviously you, exercise is one of the best things you can do for your mental health. Uh, depending on how old you are, you can be really active in a sports group or you can just go down to your local gym just to do anything. Yeah. You know, you've got swimming, you've got football, you've got all of that sort of stuff as well. Um, some people find creativeness more uh, of a, uh, a positive um, impact on their mental health. So just like taking to, almost taking, taking time, time you, regardless you of his exercise or anything, taking yeah. time to just be like, this is how I feel right now and that's okay yeah, or so that's you, not you okay. You could be going to a college and you could be doing your exams coming up and you feel like your emotions are snowballing because it's quite a strenuous time. Christmas can be quite a strenuous time for people. Uh, what advice would you give to anyone who's watching and probably feeling that kind of way? You, you've got, the problem is, and this is what my role is, is to be here for, is that a lot of people your age, people my age and, and elderly people, they don't know what is out there already. And if they do, they don't know how to start and they don't know how to um, go into a, a walk-in centre or they, they don't know how to refer into a service without feeling that they're quite vulnerable because obviously a mental health illness, you, you're going to feel vulnerable. Um, there's a lot of good stuff like, like um, Hearts Mind Network. They do a lot of uh, peer support programmes or they do uh, counselling one-to-one. You've got um, a load of CBT services out there as well. So the statistics don't tell us that men's mental health right now is definitely a big threat to the country. And so by talking to people and doing their mindfulness, do you think there's any way that as a community we can start to crank down on it? Is there anything that I can do as a girl that can make it easier for boys? Yeah, so um, the statistics say that typically it's actually women that experience mental health um, problems more than men. But 70% of all suicides in the UK is men. But do you think maybe the stats say that women suffer with it more because women are more willing to be like, yeah, I do have anxiety? Um, that could be it. Uh, there, there, there is underlying cases of men that are experiencing it. But the, yeah, it comes to the point that they're more open about it. And we don't know the hidden amount of men that are suffering uh, with their mental health. And On Christmas time, I know lots of people find it harder, maybe who have lost ones, mm. who have been struggling with their mental health, because it's a time of where everyone has to be happy. Yes. So do we see a change in numbers around Christmas time? Or? Yeah, there, there's a... Uh, studies going on that typically when the, the nights get cold, uh, colder, darker, people tend to feel a lot more confined into a one space, they don't go out as much and that can lead to uh, people feeling low and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, with Christmas it's a mixture of, of nostalgia of what you had in the past 
and and that sort of low mood due to the the seasoning and and, and how it gets darker and stuff like that but yeah I, I think mainly it's it's nostalgia of what you had before thank you so much for having this conversation with us it's You're been welcome. really enlightening i don't know if that's the right word but <laughs> thank you for giving us the time to talk about You're it welcome. and hopefully we can make it better have a nice christmas you and too. good new year thank you <laughs> And now, now it's time, time for Quick, quick talk. talk. The BBC has explained how Kate Winslet worries as a mother that parents feel powerless over children and young people with social media use. Winslet said security checks should be more rigorous and those in power should step up to protect their children. Furthermore, there has been a new law introduced called the Online Safety Bill, which is intended to force social media tech firms to remove harmful content from their platforms. I wonder if the government is going to take this seriously so we can prevent children and young adults from viewing explicit images and harmful comments which should have been dealt with a long time ago. The Independent has stated that children and teens are missing out on school trips due to the cost of living crisis. School outings are important because they encourage the greater engagement and inspire future ambitions for students. Students are missing out on essential school trips which may affect their grades and learning because parents are unable to give up money to pay due to the cost of living. The Independent conducted research of 433 teachers across the UK and found that those who were going to organise school outings are 61% less likely to plan trips than they were a few years ago. Perhaps the government should help to fund more to help recover of cost, which would benefit schools hugely in supporting them to run more school trips, which will be able to link topics and subjects in a more meaningful way, allowing students to contextualise their classroom learnings. Sky News has said that Kanye West has been suspended from Twitter after sharing an image of a swastika and praising Hitler. Kanye had shared an image of a swastika entwined with the star of David. We at Real Talk implore young people to be more aware of who they are idolising when they are showing their true colours like this. The people we look up to are not always what they seem. As someone so famous and popular like Kanye in such a young audience, I wonder how his future is going to change and how many people are still going to support him and his music and his fashion. Recent news from Forbes says that viewers have watched over 341.2 million hours of the brand new series Wednesday on Netflix, surpassing the views of season four of Stranger Things, which came out earlier this year. The new series on Netflix starring Jenna Ortega has taken audiences by storm, with a new angle focusing on the shady character Wednesday. In the series, she leaves mainstream school land and is enrolled in a more gothic and supernatural private school, which is then caught up in a murder mystery. The series is definitely visually stunning, with great sets, interesting scenes and quirky decisions from the gothic director Tim Burton, who was also an executive producer. But why is it so popular? Well, the reason it is so popular is because the concept of Wednesday speaks to young people, with every character in the show having some sort of flaw or setback. The show helps celebrate the diversity in young people and encourage them to be proud of who they are and where they come from. One thing is for sure, after watching it, everyone wants their own pet ham. And that, that was, was Quick Talk. Talk. And to end 2022 and the second episode of Real Talk, we invite level three, year two music practice band, Battle Axe. See you next year and have a Merry Christmas.
Cause you're the one we want